Hey everybody, it's Steve <laughs> and Leah. So uh, I was supposed to work on construction this week and I called off because uh, yet another rainstorm. Raining. Now we're not complaining because mm -hmm. it's it been a drought. So uh, forgive me if I sound like, oh, the rain's interrupted my plan. <laughs> I know I'm going to adjust my plans to match the rain. And we did. Uh, I've been buying any supplies that I need. So when uh, during the August and uh, September, when the drought hits again, I could just work without having to order. Let's rotate. So uh, we're out doing some thrifting uh, and all of these super deals. Leah got these jeans for free just because she asked. So I did. everybody I did. loves Leah. I always give Blaze the leftover bag nice. and he plays it. There's no food in it. So uh, what, all of these bricks I got for 20 bucks. So mm -hmm. two bucks of bricks. Listen, stamp bricks, that's way cheap. That was at Paul's Salvage. And the containers. Leah got these containers, all three of them for 20 bucks. Yes. Uh, this had a chip in it, so the store gave it to me 20 for bucks. 20 bucks. And what is heavy. the hippie store in Smithville? There's a really cool Zen hippie store in Smithville we go to. Felice it. and Vicky own yeah, it, and we know them. And that's why we say Felice and Vicky's store. Yeah. $6 on a little oak bucket. Oh, and then the best part are my little... Uh, my little oh, Lee. Yeah. This is so cool. Look. Okay, you tell, hold them up so and tell me what you think. I collect old, random, eclectic, weird dolls, and I just think those are so cute. Last couple of weeks ago, I collected a 1928 Little Witch. You did. That's and then scary. the bunny, yeah. Oh, you got a little bucket, too. I, yeah. Oh, I remember that. We, yeah. we mentioned that. Anyway, so. Oh, and then Paul's had that bar, yeah. brand new barbed wire. Uh, listen, these can be anywhere from 64 to a couple hundred, but when they're four barb like that, they're close to $200. 75 bucks on that. And these are Levi's, too. Those are Levi's for free? <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at it. It's awesome. all decorated. Listen, we buy a lot at Paul, so he, he gives us generous deals. These may not apply to you, but uh, stop there if you ever go to Page, Texas. Oh, and then we're both debating who gets to stop sign, so I, I might go at the end of my gate. It's it kind should. of fun. I think it's it It's kind should. of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's just our decorative supplies. We'll go take a look at construction material. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Leah got this bag, and in the sun it changes. Those are normally just white. White. But see, when the sun was out, it was they turned yeah, uh, so real turning, dark peach. Yeah. Real dark. So right now you can see uh -huh. the peach and the uh -huh. colors. It's called Casa del Sol. So and... She got that for eight bucks at $8. a thrift store. But inside there, I've got Christmas gifts yes. for my daughters yes. and her birthday. That my daughters have uh, their twins. They've got a birthday in December, which kind of sucks for them because everybody <laughs> will give them one gift and go, "That's both birthday and Christmas." <laughs> Oh, come on. You're so cheating. A couple of times in their life, I had it. I threw a birthday party for them in July just because. Uh, but uh, so they get a, an actual gift. But it does suck to have a December birthday. Uh, but anyway, so I got Christmas gifts in there, which I won't disclose because occasionally they watch my stuff, too. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few other things. All right, so in, in addition to getting thrift supplies and salvage, uh, it was Prime, right? So I went ahead and did Prime in July, uh, did a lot of electric. This uh, solar generator from Drackery, this is the big 2000 kilowatt one. It was uh, $800 off. So I got it in the deluxe package for like 1300 bucks. Normally it's two grand. Got a jump starter uh, battery pack. Uh, because I'm going to be working on my dump trailer and so I have a battery box with a lithium battery also on prime also about 50% off so uh, I bought from Paul's a bunch of these then it had three we were at a salvage place and I happened to run into a fourth <laughs> so I, I must buy these wrenches, uh, they might not be very good. I lose wrenches and stuff. They, these are going to ride around in the tractors. I got pipe wrenches, and I also have welding uh, crescent wrenches, the big ones for a tractor. Uh, I think they're 20 bucks a pack. They're super cheap. Leah saw these blacksmith nails, uh, so $7 for a thing of blacksmith nails. I'm going to guess that that's a super good deal. Uh, she wants a few for decoration. This is a new spindle for the tractor so I could fix the mower deck. Then, as you know, I drop my cameras on a regular basis. I sent my, uh, to back to Sony, my Fuji cameras, rather. And uh, it ended up for, the repair was over $800 for on two of them. But I bought a camera on uh, eBay 
for $190 and it came with two professional Rhodes mics. These are super expensive mics. It came with a brand new camera. I just could not be uh, pleased. It came with deluxe batteries. There's extra batteries in there, so it's the high end. Um, it just uh, beside myself uh, with how happy I am with that. Uh, while I were at Paul Salvage, uh, I bought a bunch of bits that I know I can drill pipe size holes out of. And this whole patch was two bucks. So you can't get the safety clips or D rings for $2. Um, this was on uh, Amazon. It was a special uh, look. It's an air neck air conditioning unit. And I looked it up and they, they said it was highly rated. It also warms. So that seems useful to me. Yes. Like maybe it'll extend my hours of uh, construction. Yeah. Normally the sky's not this uh, great. It's actually raining as right as now. It's not uncomfortable, and you know what I mean. Well, but if it's blowing cool air on my head, uh, the well, discomfort you know, on my neck will be on, nominal. Video when you'll tell me how it feels. Yeah, when I open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, uh, right there. Uh, okay, so that I can charge the Jackery as well as my solar. I did buy a lithium charger. Again, all of these things were super cheap. And lastly, for the chicken water that I've been working on, instead of doing the little round cups or the little nipples that chickens have to peck at to get water, my chickens are big Brahmas. I decided to get them this really cute thing. I'm going to put it up on blocks. And look, it comes with all of the uh, floats in it. And I'll wire that up to a 30-gallon uh, a, uh, uh, over there, if you could see it. There's a 30-gallon garden tub as well as I'll put gar uh, gutters on the chicken coop and uh, catch the water that falls there into that. And then I can always take that and, and recharge it too as well. So I don't think I'm <laughs> going to get a chance to go rain. Uh, listen, uh, work on the fence. When it rains and there's lightning, those posts are in the ground and they scare me. Uh, that's a good way to get toasted. So I, I doubt I'll go work on that. But uh, listen, all this stuff was, uh... oh, I missed one more thing. Look, I got all of these Ryobi tools, one, two, three, four, five, six, for 250 bucks. And it's all the ones that I wear out. I'm super rough on, on tools, but um, some of these things I'll give to my daughter because she's working and some of them are still good. So I'll be sorting through that. So 250 bucks. Um, and that's why people, oh, DeWalt has more torque. Well, one, um, drilling through metal with high torque, it does that to your wrist real hard. So DeWalt's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something when I punch through metal that, it, you know, it gives but doesn't spin me around. And I'm a big dude. And those DeWalt's in Milwaukee's, yeah, they. I would if I was a tradesman, I'd go that route. But for what I'm doing, I do Ryobi. And for 240 bucks, you can't buy one Milwaukee for that. So, and I bought seven tools. They, uh, when they, uh, they, uh, consumers digest and whatnot. Ryobi's middle of the pack. I'm, I'm fine with middle of the pack. I am rough on tools. I leave them outside. I do this where it's raining and everything's outside. I am off grid in Texas working in sweltering heat, uh, and all kinds of weather conditions. It's okay if my tools get, um, weather damage. I've accepted that as a thing, but, uh, Listen, for, I, I have saved thousands of dollars here looking at these thousands of dollars here, literally thousands. The cameras were over a thousand. I got that for one ninety five. That's normally si almost six hundred dollars. Got it for two fifty. The lithium battery and whatnot were half off. They're expensive, but that's a battery box for like a lunch box that I could move the battery box somewhere in charge. I got this Jackery, so when I set up my sawmill and garage off-grid, I'll have its own solar. That would even run a small little welder, maybe. A stick welder, maybe. If it has an auto start, uh, I'd be good. Anyway, all kinds of good stuff. So while the uh, last 10 days of rains has been a blessing, and I'm very grateful for it, I have not made it uh, not make me work. I've instead uh, went and gathered supplies so that uh, when the drought does come back or the regular summer months, August, September, it's usually dry around here, I can work. So this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Thank you for watching my little doodads. I I'm already getting rained on, so I need to put these things away before they get wet. But I appreciate you all. I like the company very much. Like subscribe, follow me along. Bye.